everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, I know it's been quite some time, but we're back here today. We're going over to Havasu. We're gonna be fighting a little bit of weather on the way, so we'll keep an eye out for that. I am VFR on the way over. Uh, problem with going IFR today is is you'll just be in the ice, so um, that we're not gonna do. And if we don't like it, we'll land or turn around, but it looks like we'll be all right. We can stay a little bit north. Uh, we'll have to deviate a little bit. Um, around some around some storms but all in all we should be good to go uh sun's just coming up here in grand junction um, normally it's about a three hour flight we expect a little bit more with the deviation so let's get today rolling hope you enjoy the video three five three zulu wind three zero zero at one zero visibility one zero sky condition ceiling seven thousand overcast temperature three two point minus two altimeter two nine eight nine visual r nav and delta approaches in new seven farm ground one two nine all car feedback, hold short instructions, advise inner contact, mission mic. Alright, pre takeoff, flaps going to 10, props on high, mixture is set for best power, car heat is in, pedo heat not needed, but we'll keep an eye on that on the way out. Transponder is on, heading bug, we're 2 9, we're going southwest doors. Lights coming on, strobes on, time note, it is 7.15, seats locked, gas is on, we got 84.1 gallons, we're going to confirm here, full and full. Alright, pre-takeoff complete, Grand Junction Tower, Skywagon 23, 22 Charlie, holding short, 22, ready for takeoff, 29, we're departure to the southwest. Number 23, 22 Charlie, got next tower, cross runway 22, runway 29, cleared for takeoff, see on course. Cross 22, clear for takeoff 29, proceed on course 2322 Charlie. Alright, we're clear for takeoff 22. We'll just check no traffic. Alright, we got a crosswind to the right here. 29, final is clear. Runway is clear. I see 2-9, 8 two nine here, 2 nine there, we're bugged, oh, power, alright, crosswind to the right, alright, power set, airspeed's alive, tail's coming up, Temps looking good. Pressure looking good. Prop coming back to 25. Wake up everyone in the valley with that. And flaps coming up. All right, just leveled off here at 8,500. We're gonna kind of stay at on a westbound heading for now because you can kind of see that blue sky up there. You got the low level clouds over here, kind of the way we want to go, but that's all right. Uh, we'll get to that blue sky out here and then uh, and then head more uh, south. This, I don't want to get into that. And I believe this cloud layer above me right here is 12.5, uh, is so I'm gonna stay right here for now and uh, skirt away around. Leveled off here at 10,500, talking to Denver Center as well, just to get flight following on our way over there. Uh, we've got a ground speed of 150 knots. I will take that. That is awesome. So we got about two hours left. We have to deviate a little bit around uh, the Grand Canyon. I could go through the corridors, but by the time you do that, it's just it's just easier to go around Atuba City and then direct Havasu. So we're looking about two hours from here. Uh, so it should be a good flight. It's really smooth out. There's a couple uh, uh, air mets out for uh, air met tangos and then uh, some Sierra uh, air mets for all this stuff out here. But uh, surprisingly, it's pretty smooth. And uh, got Lake Powell over here on my right. And fortunately, the camera out on the wing disconnected 
from Bluetooth, so now I can't access it. It turned off, so it'll just be these two inside cameras for the rest of the way to Havasu. It's really, really annoying. I need to figure out how to keep that just on and leave it on. Even if it runs out of battery, at least I can get footage uh, the majority of the way there. It might run out by the time I get to some of the places I go to, but that's something that I need to figure out. All right, just coming up on the Grand Canyon. That's right over there. I normally end up just going around over to Tuba City and then direct Havasu just because it's a little bit easier and a little less stressful and instead of doing the corridors. Uh, I've done it a couple times. It, it's a neat flight over. Uh, just, I mean, something about being single engine over the Grand Canyon, it's just, I'm not a fan. So I go around and then got about an hour left of flight time. All right, level here at 10,500. We got about 45 minutes left. Lake Havasu, we're just kind of dodging traffic in the uh, Center, Grand the Canyon area. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update video. Uh, kind of been what's going on the past couple of months. This whole coronavirus has kind of taken over our lives, uh, unfortunately. But surprisingly, I've been doing quite a bit of flying. Uh, I finished up my single engine commercial with Kevin. Shout out to Kevin, thank you. And then I did my multi-engine commercial in Glendale, just outside of Phoenix, which was an absolute blast. Um, makes you appreciate, you know, an underpowered twin uh, with 115 degree weather, high density altitudes. So that was a lot of fun. So I wrapped up that. Um, had an absolute blast doing both of those. And then right now, um, kind of just trying to trying to fly for fun, I guess you could say the. Traveling's been kind of limited with all the corona stuff, so i um, just been doing some local flights with friends, and uh, hopefully we kind of have a change of events this next year. I, I don't even know what to think about the whole thing. So kind of just wanted to do an update video. I know it wasn't that interesting. Unfortunately, this camera died too, but tomorrow uh, I am going to San Diego, and I kind of have something special um, planned along the way there. Hopefully, we'll get into a little dirt strip. Um, so stay tuned for that video. I just kind of want to get something out there because um, I haven't posted it forever and I kind of missed filming and it was just unfortunately I, I don't film any flight training stuff so that wasn't uploaded at all and then um, really flying has been pretty limited other than the training so stay tuned. Hopefully we'll do some more flying throughout the winter time and uh, maybe get into Utah a little bit and try to find some strips in there kind of close back home. But uh, next video should be really, really interesting. We're going to finish our way over to Lake Havasu. I think we're going to fight a little bit of wind when we get into town there and then just kind of enjoy this Thanksgiving break. Lake Havasu City traffic, Skywagon 232 Charlie. We're two miles east of the field. We'll be crossing over midfield, entering left down 132 Lake Havasu. Havasu City traffic, Skywagon 2322 Charlie. Turning left base 32. We have the traffic on the runway in sight. Lake Havasu. Havasu traffic, Cirrus 14 Kilo Echo at Havasu Air, taxiing to runway 32 via Alpha, Havasu. Havasu traffic, C635, upwind, runway 32, Lake Havasu. Havasu traffic, C635, upwind, runway 32, Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, C635, left crosswind, 432, Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, Chandler 86 up with, E-turning left base, 32, Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu traffic, C606 is midfield left downwind, we're departing to the southeast, Lake Havasu. Alright, well it's always fun when the wind is blowing right down the runway, you can make it pretty short there, that was cool. So, anyways, everyone, thank you for watching. Look forward to uh, tomorrow's flight as well, it should be a good time. Um, if you're new to the channel, click subscribe, hit the like button. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.